and I'm Zoe, and we're from Hawaii. And we're the Folded Sisters, which means we love origami. I love origami because it's fun and satisfying when I get the finished model. I love origami because it's fun and satisfying to fold. I love gardening playing at the beach and playing with animals. I love water gardening and playing with bunnies. Aww. Today we're gonna be making an origami fish from the Paper Girls show. Because we love animals and fish. I want my fish to be orange because it's the same color of my koi fish at home named Tangerine. I want my koi fish to be yellow because it's the same color as the sun. Let's get started. To start, you're gonna fold the opposite two parallel edges to meet, like this, so that they're gonna be touching. And then you're gonna crease. This is called a book fold because when you open it up, it's like you're opening a book. Now, you're gonna do the same thing with the opposite two parallel edges. Like that. Then you can crease. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold one parallel edge to this center line right here. And then you can crease. Is this any specific type of fold? Yeah, this is called a cabinet fold. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other parallel edge. And then you can crease. And this is called cabinet base. Neat. Then you can unfold that and fold it with these parallel edges. So we can start with one and fold it to this line, just like that. So it's basically like we're doing another cabinet face in the opposite direction. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side to complete the cabinet face. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold the top tip to the bottom edge of the square, like that. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side, like that. What's this fold called? It's called a kite fold. Now you're gonna unfold your kite fold and then you can take this bottom edge and you're gonna have this edge right here Fold up so that it aligns with this one, like that. And then it's gonna go, the tips, it's gonna make like an edge. Then you're gonna unfold that and do that with the other side. So it makes a tip and then it aligns with this one right here. Like that. Then you can unfold that. And that's gonna give us a big reference when we do this fold right here. You're going to fold on that line with only the flap that's on the outside and do that with the other side. So now, if you fold it up like this, it's kinda like a box thing. Then you're gonna push with the back side down onto the paper, so you're kinda smushing it. Now it looks like it wants to go to a point. Pull it out a little and help it be a point like that. So we already have the crease that we made right here and we're going to fold on that with the first flap like that and with the other side. Now you're going to push down and flatten it out so it goes to a point like that. This is called double boat base. Now you're going to fold one of the two flaps on one side down like that. <laughs> and then you can flip it over and now we're going to fold this tip right here to, to the center X right here. Like that. Imagine this line from the middle going all the way down. We're going to fold it back out like this. Like there's a laser folding it back? Yeah, and then you're going to do the same with the other side. So this tip goes to the middle, like that, and then you're gonna fold it back, like that. Now it kinda looks like a little tail. And then you're gonna fold this tip 
toward the center too. But you don't have to go all the way to the center. The fins and the tail are separated and not touching. Then you can do that with the other one too. Are you making it like parallel? Yeah, one? you want to make it parallel if you can from the center one. But if not, that's totally fine. So here you have your finished fish. And you can add eyes and whatever you want. And now you have an origami fish. Let's see if we can make this one come to life. Woo! Check out more episodes in origami from the Paper Girl Show on YouTube. What are we gonna fold next? Fold it with us next time to find out. <laughs> Bye!